Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. My name is Nancy and today we are going to make this cute cow rock, okay? And we will start with uh, just a, a round or oval shaped rock. This is a little smaller, so he won't be as big as this one. And I'm gonna start with my pencil. My rock has lots of holes, I see, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna start by making his head. And in this one, I made a really rounded head, but I'm gonna do a little bit more of a triangle shaped head or oval head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get his body done. And for some reason on the, a lot of cows that I've looked at, they have these little bumps there. So I'm gonna include that. You don't have to, but just for fun. And then of course, they have a tail. It just kind of hangs down. Now I'm gonna put his udder in. It's a little hard on my rock because it's pretty bumpy, but it's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a leg, and mine is wearing red boots. You can do whatever you like. I think the red boots are kind of fun. So I'm not gonna be able to put them in very well with my pencil, just because it's a little awkward here. But I think once I have my paint, I'll just be able to paint them in better. Okay. So that's it for now, and I am going to get my paint ready. Okay, before we start with painting, I'm gonna add a few more details with my pencil. I'm going to make this little line for his, on his face, and then I'm going to add his ears, which are really just, I'll show you when I finish. They're just sort of a basic ear. And then he's got his little horns, which I can't forget. They come right in front of the ears. And what else? Let's see. Oh, the flower coming out of his mouth. I really do like that. So I'm gonna make a simple flower, which again, you, you know, you can do if you like, if you don't want to, that's okay too. So there's the flower. And what else did I forget? Okay. And at the end, we'll do grass on the very bottom. So I think I'll start with my thinner brush and the pink for his mouth area. And I'm just gonna paint that right on. Now, because I've painted this rock white, I really don't have to go over the white um, for the white on the cow, so that's kind of nice. If I want, if I change my mind and I want to do more of a background color at the end, I could. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, even though I didn't put the line in, I'm just going to do part of the ear pink, and I'm going to save the upper part for the black. And same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do sort of the lower half pink. And what else? His udder. I'm doing all of the pink. And this pink is actually pretty thick. So I might not need a second coat on that, which is kind of nice. Okay. And now... I'm going to get some black and I'm going to do his ear, the top part of his ear. On both sides. And then, of course, he's got all his spots. And I could take a pencil and draw them, but it really, it just doesn't matter what your black shapes look like on your cow. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it and just do some random 
random shapes because you really can't make a mistake. They're just spots, right? At the end, I'll show you another cow I made with, um, instead of doing random shapes like this, I did hearts and it's not really for Valentine's Day just cause they're, it just looks kind of cute. So anything goes with your cow. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay, and oh, the tail is black too, so I'm just gonna go from about here and go down and do his tail. At the end, it's just a little. Okay, and I did do some gray to do some shading with white which I will get to. I think what I'm going to do is, actually I'll do the red. I'm gonna do his boots, which I didn't really draw very well because it's so far down at the bottom here, but I am just going to hold it and kind of create the shape of the boot as I'm painting, which again is really just it's just not that hard to do. Just make a, a basic shoe kind of shape. And this one, I'm not gonna be able to do the whole boot because it's sort of behind. So I'm just gonna do part of it. Okay, and then even over here, I drew very little of the boot, but it's okay because I'm just gonna make it up as I go. Okay, and this one, I don't even have the line of the leg, but again, it's okay. I can add that at the end when I get my marker out. Okay, so there's his boots. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> there we go. He's okay. All right. I may add a second coat on the red and I will be back. Okay, we're gonna continue with the painting. Next step is the flower petals, which I am going to paint yellow. And you can do whatever colors you like. You can leave them white even and just do a yellow center. Anything works. Okay, one more. All right, and then I'm gonna, I could leave it white in the center, but I think I'm just gonna do red because I like red and it kind of ties in with the boots. There we go. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm going to do the green of the grass, which is just at the bottom. And what happens is I'll take my marker at the very end and kind of, it'll look a little bit better once we have that, have like some lines drawn in over the paint. Oopsie. All right, that's good. And let's see. All right, I think I am ready to do the gray and the white. Just so I'm gonna take a light gray and I'm gonna give it, mix it in with a little bit of the white just to make it even lighter. And then I'm just gonna add a little gray white under his head. I might do a little bit more just to make it a tiny bit yeah, 
darker. And I'm gonna put a little gray over here. Okay, maybe add just a drop more. Okay, I think that's good. And, oh, I know what I need to do is his horns. I just chose a very light brown or a tan color. You can really do whatever color you like. You can go for a darker brown or a black. There, okay. Now, the next step will be outlining. So, I think I will do my thicker marker and I will start with the head. And I'll get that line done. And I got the body. And his legs are just lines. Oops. Okay. And now his face is really very simple. His eyes are just two lines, and then I did do little eyebrows, just like that, and he's got a nice big smile. And I think I'm gonna switch to my thinner marker for his nose, which is really just two little holes Okay, and okay, I'm just gonna finish up going over the boots and the horns and I will. Okay, so I have gone ahead and finished the outlining. I outlined his boots and the flower, the horns, the ears. So everything has a nice outline. I even added some lines to the end of his tail. Okay, and the way I'm gonna finish this up is I'm gonna take my thinner black marker, paint pen, and I'm going to add a few lines just to show sort of blades of grass. Okay, just right over the green, which is dry. Okay, no big deal. And then, oh, on the original, I have a few dots under his um, head and some dots up above and I have hair <laughs> that's kind of sprouting between his um, horns so I'm just going to do that too just for fun and then I, I kind of like the dots I don't exactly know why but I've always been a big dot fan and so then I'm going to do these under here just really random, just down and straight up, okay? And I did make a change here on his pink part of his face. I made the smile come from the other way instead of this way. Um, and the way I did that was I simply painted over the pink and I made his nose holes more circular rather than just a, a, a half circle. So I just, that's easy things to do to fix, and that's the beauty of painting on rocks. It's easy to 
make changes. Here is another cow rock I had done with the hearts that I was talking about, which I also think is really cute. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And next time we are going to do another cow. And I have to show you a preview. There he is. So cute. He's holding a heart balloon, but it doesn't have to be a heart. It can be any kind of balloon. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Take care.